Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Mike here. As you see, we're back in my garage. Should be coming out Monday. Uh, what is today? Today is Wednesday, I do believe. I am recording this one. These are usually a few days to a, about a week in advance. Got the front tires on. I am still missing all the suspension. I've got to build the motor. I got one cylinder head off. The other one is completely garbage. Block is salvageable. No, it's not. I take that back. Block is not salvageable. Block is garbage. Might. Might be able to reuse the flywheel. I don't know. Got a couple good pistons. I'm going to try and reuse as much as possible because, you know, parts are expensive. And I'm going broke trying to fix this dang thing. So, you know, there's that. I don't think you'll fit yet because I don't have any the steering components in yet. I found another welding rod. Where do you want to go? Find your home. Perfect. Now, I cannot get this fender to fit on to save my life, so I'm probably just going to replace that with something else. There's one of my wrenches. I've, I've realized I've got two screwdrivers also. Two screwdrivers also. I don't know what I need two of them for, but I've got them. I got them. All good. Not want to go in yet? No, because I don't have the other piece. Okay. So I've got a handful of things to, to currently purchase. I've got uh, that in. Only thing I didn't fix is this little guy right here. Because I threw that in, welded it up. Then I went to weld the last weld, saw that, and I said, you know what? The hell with it. That can stay rusty. If you look at the status on the car, it's already worth $8,300. I don't remember what I paid for it. It wasn't near that at Salvage Yard. It's like three or four grand. So I'm already turning a profit. The more stuff I put back on the car, the better the profit will be. So, you know, I might could... You know what? I think it's for the sake of well really want to build a motor? Not really. So for the sake of keeping this a quick flip we're going to go ahead work all these little fellers down real quick and uh, just kind of put it back together. I really don't care. I know I need spark plugs for some of them. Three on this side. I've got all four on that side. It's not going to run, so I don't really care. Oh, yeah. I bought two cans of paint because I thought I might need them. Well, this is the rear calipers, right? Yeah. Front pads. Didn't have any... Did I buy front pad? No, I bought rear pad. Yeah. Okay. No, you didn't go to your home like you were supposed to. Thank you. No. Come on. Oh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes you need this magical tool right here. Because you can't just get brake pads out of a box. You gotta pry them out. That makes sense. Does this make sense? Yes. Anytime I've ever done brakes in my life, I've had to pry them out of the box. Well, you know, I can't do anything without rotor. I forgot about rotor. Disc rear, rear. Okay, good. Good. Clap this side on first because it's way over here. And I'm not. Then we'll grab this little guy right here. And we'll slap her on right there. Hey, boo-boo. Now we got to find caliper. The other caliper. Front right. Did I forget? I might have forgot. Or might have bought an extra one. I don't know. I don't remember buying a second screwdriver, but I've got one. So it's fine. Fine. And these set screws, you know, when I worked for the dealership, no technician would ever put those back in. So the whole purpose of them 
I don't know. I don't think they're very purposeful. Extra crap to take off, and they're not really needed. Where are we going? You probably don't fit this car, do you? Ed Bart. Rear left, because I got you on the wrong damn side. Oh, God. Oops. I didn't check that. If I did, I don't remember. Right rear. I have to check and make sure I put the caliper on the front. Because I don't remember. I don't know. Okay, that's good and tight. Good and tight. Caliper. Caliper. Yeah, it's good. Okay. So I don't know where that extra one came from. Not my problem. Not my car. I think this is the piece I am missing on the front end. Start assembling things properly. Then it should go over here. Yeah. Hey. Where were we? Good. 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 Two more? No. Is that all that holds it? Those two? Okay. I'm good with that. That's fine. That's fine. I'm probably just going to replace this fender because it's spoopy and not wanting to cooperate. This is all welded up. Uh, all the rust has been repaired on the paint. I believe I painted everything that had rust on it. Because if you look at the condition, it's a five-star. Now it's worth $9,200 because I put brakes on it. That's not all. Nope, I did buy two new wheels and two new tires because I want them to at least match. Rather them at least match. I like pan in also. But I do want to put these springs. Not these springs. I want to take these springs off. I don't like these springs. These are stock springs. Stock springs suck. We want to make this thing a little bit lower. Just to make it look better. Chances are this is all got to come out. Rear end's going to fall out. It'll be fine. I won't tell if you don't tell. Yep, see, there goes the rear end. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Oops. Once we get the other one in, we'll be able to put the rear end back in. Oh, I got radiate. Well, I'll put the radiator support in when it's time. Not currently time. You know why? I don't have an engine in this car yet. Why oh, that one looks floppy jawed. Not going to be my problem. I'm not going to fix it. You know why? Because I don't care. I just want to sell the damn car. 96.70 now. Wow, just for springs? So I should have a couple extra brake hoses. Which I do. We'll slap these on. Gas tank. We need a gas tank too. You know, that's kind of important. Kind of important, and I think that's under, I think it's under engine. Well, apparently it's under accessories, because, you know, a gas tank is an accessory. But it's also a necessity. I don't know. I'm new here. It helps if you're, you're selected on tightening. That does help. We about got our whip. Okay. I'm going to get this thing buttoned up. I'll see you back here. I think that one we're just going to do uh, something simple on rust repair and see what she sells for. Okay, she is on the ground. I think now got to buy, not buy, I'm sorry, grab my wrench. We're going to leave this little guy as is. I really don't care. Really don't. I'll slap her in. I didn't even put spark plugs in it. it it's not going to run anyway. Got several shot pistons on both sides. Got uh, two on this side, and I'll say three of them on that side were poopy doopy. Shocks in there. I did put a new oil filter on it, though. So, you know, there's that. There is that. Where is it? See? Brand new oil filter. 
I don't want to put any more money into this dang thing than I have to. Subcarrier, that is no good. I do not need you. I should have a wiper motor somewhere on the floor. Under there. How do I get this? Oh no, your spoopy parts. I don't want you. You are spoopy parts. Boy, I tell you what. I keep finding all kinds of good stuff down here on the floor. Stuff I don't even know I had. Where the heck is a wiper motor at? I had one. I know I didn't throw it away. Oh, Lord have mercy. Have mercy. Okay. I might have to buy another one. It'll be fine. They're not that expensive. Never mind. Gotta look in the right spot. Get up. Try that again. Fantastic. And I did buy. You know, this is kind of important. Kind of important to have wiper plates, right? So, that's what this little guy is for. Supposed to go here somewhere. I guess bolted in I don't I don't really know nope not yet it is now okay phantasmic now I need wiper arms and blades oh it'd be under accessories I bet maybe just wiper blades I don't, I don't really know maybe the wiper arm I don't see no wiper arm I don't know I don't know We'll put them in the trunk for the owner. Because, you know, they don't fit. I don't know. I don't know where to put them. I don't have wife arms for them to go to. You know what? So we don't lose them. Put them in, in the car. And when they buy wiper arms, they can worry about that themselves. Perfect. Made in Germany. Huh. Ooh. Ooh. Made in Germany. They speak uh, Spanish in Germany, right? These, these are made in Germany. I'm pretty sure they speak Spanish in Germany. Out of the way, window. I don't need you right now. Nope. Go to your home. Thank you. Now let's go slap these little, little fellers in. I don't remember if it's a uh, screw, a bolt, or a uh, screwdriver bolt. Wrench or a screwdriver that puts these on. I think it's a screwdriver. If I remember correctly, it's a screwdriver. I think. Now the fun part of trying to get in there to it. A certain angle you got to go at. we go. Now let's go from the other side. We all will. Fantastic. All right. Almost done. Okay, survey says there was something screwed up on that other fender. That one. That one fits just fine. I don't know where in the heck I put my wrench at. I got two of them and I, I can't keep up with the damn things. One over here. There is one over here. Where the hell did I put the other one? Ah, found it on the desk. Fine. And bingo. You're tight. You're tight. You're tight. You're tight. Perfection. Love it. I love it when things actually kind of half-ass worked out. Um. Little guy right here. All right. Oh, I need... Whoops, stop it. Need a hood still. Put the... Now, do I want to put the doors back on yet? I don't think I want to put the doors back on yet. I'm just saying. Put some rear bumpers on it. 
And front, well, I can't put the front bumper on because I got to put this little guy on. See, this thing's got to be welded on still. It's not ready for that, is it? I don't think it is. Front valid? Hmm. Nope, not ready. Okay, I'm missing something here. Uh, it's not getting a radiator either because, you know, you're not going to go. It's a Bart, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Bart. No. Well, 2C9619. Here we go. Right color now. $11,000. But I've got... it. It's up there. It's the right price, but it could be more, and it's going to be more. But I'm not going to bore you all with that. I'm going to bore you all with doing rust repair. Yeah, doesn't that sound fun? Rust repair. Yeah, woo, rust repair. Love it. Got to get this crap together first. Okay, I think this is good enough. I'm going to sleep the nut. Well, actually, we'll sell the core right now. I did put a battery in it. I hooked the brake cable and lines up. Battery cables up. Lights are in. Should at least turn on. Right? Find out. Well, I don't, it's not going to start, obviously, but. Okay. Give me the wrench. There we go. We're going to sell this thing, sleep tonight. Be in the morning, we'll do some rust repair. 16393 dollars and 64 cents. Don't mind if I do. Good night. Yeah. Flip the slider around, just like the last time. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got as close as I can get it. Uh, it is worth forty six twenty six at the moment. We're going to wash it off and see what it's worth when we're done. I'm going to make you watch that. Okay, let's see. It was forty six twenty six, I believe. Forty seven twenty. I mean, I can sell it right now for a profit. Not a very big one, but, you know, a profit. Where is my little whirly -woo? Need it to... Uh... Oh, where the hell is it? to put it don't know hmm now I could go all out and remove all the panels like I did the other one I'm not doing that on this one not worth it I will however it's the rusty bit on the outside you know, the ones that kind of matter a little bit not too much I like me I matter just a little bit but not too much Stop it. Perfection. Oh man, this is going to be hard to do on the ground. Wish I could have got it on the lift. It made it a lot easier. I could always throw a jack underneath here if need be. If need be. We're going to figure out what the original color is. Fix it. Repaint everything. Body panels that are missing. Well, most of the body panels that are missing on. I'd even throw back glass in it, because, you know, it doesn't have any rear glass. Might, might not. Never know. All depends on how I feel. What I feel like doing. I don't know. No rust on the door. That's good. Door looks like it. Barely new. Where else? Nope, we're not. We didn't see that rust. That's fine. Any over here? No. Oh yeah, down here. There, there's, there, there's some more. Where's my bondo at? Where's my super suit? Ah. Ah. Oh, 
at this rate, I'm going to have a fortune in Bondo. Just saying. Whew. Look at it. Fixing all the damage done. Perfect. Hopefully it covers up the rusty bits. I don't have to worry about them. I don't know. Come on. Where else do you need to go? That panel is done. This one is not. Load it, load it. Is that one done? That one's perfect. That panel right here is perfect. This is invisible. Oh, dang, the roof needs it too? Where? Uh, I'm not sure where it needs it. Oh, oh. Lordy, lordy. Is that it? That it? Oh, well, you're empty. That's, that's it. Thank God I bought like four of these the other day. Well, I'll be dipped. Every other panel on the car was straight. Except for, well, all but... What's that? One, two, three, four. All but four panels. Or, or, well, four panels were good. I didn't see what color it was. I need a fender also. Oh, that's going to be a pain in the butt to get to. I can scooch it a bit. This is a chat, I do believe. Yeah. 67060A. I think this one's going to take more than two cans. I think. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, I got the fender on, by the way. Yep. See, there she is. All painted and purdy. Now, I'm not sure which can I started. Yep. Say, I'm not sure which can I started with, because one of them I started on the inside painting the fender. Uh, it was apparently that can. We'll try one more can. One more can. Sounds good to me. Most of the waffy jodness off of that, so here. Coming along. Look at that. Pretty. Find the little tiny miss spots. Fine. Uh, this is a big miss spot. We'll go ahead and attempt to color match that as best as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be close to it. Right? Absolutely. Ba, 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 ba. Be surprised how much more car is worth when you actually color match it. It is well worth painting the cars. Try not to miss many spots. The more spots you miss, it affects it. Kind of stupidly, too. I thought that was a can of paint. I'm getting close to the end, so I don't want to spend unwanted money on cans of paint. Oh, but we're close. We'll use this last can and be done. And we'll sell the damn thing. Not even going to put a driver's seat in it. Why? Because I don't care. I'm not keeping it. Now I could double my profit by, you know, actually repairing rusty panels on the inside. But I don't want it. And you can't make it. Nanner, nanner, boo boo. All right, get her good. I mean, that still looks like I missed a lot. I don't know why I cannot paint this door panel. I 
do this. This might do it. I mean, I can still see it. I don't know about you, but I can still see it. It's like complete garbage. But that's good enough. See what she's worth. That door. Yeah. Body. Uh... We're going to tell them what the original what the original color is. Is the color it is. Hey. Yep. 8743. We're going to sell it. Perfect. Now let's go see what they have over here. We've got uh, 20, $25,698. What do they got over here that might be a quick, easy flip? You know, for the next episode. Any floating, levitating, crazy cars today? Nope. You got a lot of rust. Um, that that's I'm just gonna pass on that Cyclops car there. You got a lot of rust right here. Why is it so damn laggy in here? Why is it getting below 60 FPS? I never get below 60 FPS on this game. Ever. Boy running around in here, I am. I mean, that could be a quick, easy, a little bit of rust there. Uh, don't really care about suspension. Might do it, just, just because. Got mismatched tires. That one's different than the rest. Really not bad. Six grand. I'm not even looking at you. And three grand. Why are you so cheap? I mean, obviously there's kind of rust on the front. Mention sagging. Think the floors are okay? Can open up and look. Yeah, floors are okay. You know what? We're going to buy this one and this one. Shut the door. We're going to buy them both. There we go. There's nine, nine and a half, ten grand gone. Fine. Fine. Suspension on this one is definitely floppy jawed. But it should run, because every car from this used car dealer at least runs. Might not run well, but it runs. Well, everything appears to work. The car is very, very loud. There's that. Get out of the car, you dummy. There we go. Shut. Go get the other car. I'm going to end this one here. Uh, let me know which car you want to see me work on. In the next episode, I've got two to choose from. Coupe or convertible. Your choice. Comment down below. Yo, Mike, sign off. Peace out, y'all.